Hi everyone, welcome back to the my channel. My name is Anil, and in this Laravel 7 video tutorial, we will learn about the aggregates in the query builders. So, database configurations and controllers is already made in the last video. I am going to use the same things. So, now let's start with the code. So, first of all, I am just going to import the database class in the top of my controller. So, just use the illuminates support then facets and just choose the db class and now just take a variable with the name of let's say data and just use the db and put the table function and just use the user's table name and let's apply get method and you are able to get the all method and let's just go to the route and um, let me check yep now i just have to print r this dollar data so let's see how you can see that we have whole data so as you can see that we have four columns here so four rows here and uh, in this table so we will apply the aggregations on the age column because aggregation only apply on the integer values so now let's start with the first aggregation which is the max and in this function let's put here age that means the column so now let's see 31st is the max here you can see that 31st value is the max so let's put the min you will find the minimum value here like this so you can use the sum here so some will be like uh, 110 and you can also use the average this is the average and the last one is the count and here you can find the count so these uh, aggregation methods will help you a lot if you did not use this method and just want to apply these things then you must have to get the complete data then you have to use the loops and all so aggregation methods are much simpler and save your time and the code complexity so don't forget to subscribe, subscribe my channel and like this video in the upcoming video we'll learn the more things about the laravel bye bye take care